Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Angel, and we're back with another episode of Sneaker Shopping with Heaven. And today we got a very, very special guest. Man, what's good, everybody? It's Blazzy, designer from Los Angeles, here with my boy. We're here a little bit late, took us four tries, but yeah. man, Blazzy's an Oxford. This, I've never even been hey, to this, this side of town. This man is harder to work with than a rapper. No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. No, uh, I'm not. I've, it was <laughs> a lot easier working with OGZ than it was with this man right here. Damn, that's surprising right there. Yeah. And Listen, you, you man. You guys know rappers have a bad stigma, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty low there. It's 9.30. Man, we acting like it's 6 p.m. We're going to get right into it. Let's go. So, Blasi, growing up, where did you grow up? Let, them, let the people know. Man, I grew up in Southgate, but, uh, you know, it's this little peculiar spot where it's kind of like a borderline of Southgate and Paramount. Um, but it's called Hollydale, but Southeast L.A. Yes, sir. Growing up, sneaker culture, was it very... Prominent or? Prominent, uh, perhaps for show, you know, I'll say growing up, bro, like, you know, we were going to the swamp meet up until I was like in high school, right? Like getting random ass Puma shoes and shit like that. shoes at the swamp meet? Yeah, well, my dad was for show. He was buying me shoes at the swamp meet. You know, until we got to high school, that's when, uh, you know, I started getting more into like skate shoes, you feel me? I, I was big on skating at first and, you know, then I just picked it up. But honestly, I really didn't like have money for shoes until like, I was like a full-blown adult, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah. So now you're coming back and you're buying like most of the stuff that you didn't really have back yeah. then type shit? Yeah, that right feels now? the best for sure. Hey, that Shopify sound is gonna go off a lot today, man. <sighs> yeah. My homie that's told like, me- That's like music to your ears, man. Huh? Nah, You don't nah. like that sound? I mean, it's cool, but I feel like it's like some dickhead shit. Like now, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I, homie I, would be I, like, bro, you gotta quit flexing. Like, uh, the yeah. ringer's on my fault, but- uh, All right, all right, so. What's good, my boy? What's up, bro? What's good? Right. Yeah, I've been seeing you online for like oh, two yeah. years, bro, since you like were like probably years. like this tall. You know what I mean? Hell no. I wish I was that tall, my boy. I'm the still same thing, the same height. Yeah. All right. So oh, yeah. I saw your posters a lot. All right. I saw you that you made America and a Chivas hat. Yeah. Which which one do you think is preferred? Chivas, bro. Uh, come on now. My, uh, half my hat, half my fat is from Guadalajara. Come on, let's go. Hey, well, no, fuck no, 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 no. <laughs> Now fuck the oh sneaker God. shop video. Now fuck the sneaker shop video. Take there. Me and Marco versus you and two. You and two. Hey, <laughs> they don't even up. know, bro. I used to fuck it. <laughs> nah. Yeah, bro. I used to play club soccer like growing up and shit, man. I was in Paramount United. Stop playing with me. What yeah. position did you play? Man, I played midfield, bro. Ooh, hey, <laughs> he's nice. Yeah. Oh, I'll juggle, bro. I mean, I got Timberlands on, but you feel nah, me? I can make, probably make something work. All right, so, um. I know you fuck with Swain a lot. Hell yeah, That's man. That's like one of my favorite artists right Oh, there. man, for real, like, man. I was there for the, the meetup, the birthday one. Oh, for real? Yeah, but I got there a little late. That shit was crazy, bro. If you ask me, that was my favorite was day this year. Favorite day this year? For right, sure, so. for sure. What was your favorite memory, bro? Uh, with Swain? Yeah. I'm gonna say, bro, just like the fact that we're from more or less like the same part of town. And, uh, you know, HP isn't too far from Southgate, and um, you know, from that whole side, you don't really meet too many people who are uh, pursuing like creative careers. You know, he was doing music, I was, you know, doing clothes, I'm doing clothes. And uh, man, we'd have late night talks just at my crib, just me and him just kicking it. Yeah, you I feel heard me? Of, I am miraculous, right? Yeah, he'd miraculous. Be, yeah, he'd be super duper, um, you know, just like, he, he was humble, bro. Like, he never asked really about, you know, himself. He always asked me, like, bro, like, I have all my homies around me, you feel me? The homies doing construction, the homies doing this. Like, how could I get how could I get my own sandbox? How could I do this shit? And you know, I mean a lot of rappers, I think we just spoke on like rappers, you know, like mm -hmm. they're a little hard to deal with, you know what I'm saying? I come from the service industry, I come from designing merch for these motherfuckers. They're dickheads. They're the worst people to work with, they don't like spending no money. What? And uh, Sway was somebody who kind of like was on the contrary of that, you feel me? Like he was somebody who was always trying to um, embrace his people around him, trying to find ways to uh, empower the people around him. So I, uh, I identify with that, you know what I mean? Growing up, I had like a problem think, like relating to just like successful people because I didn't know people who like did what I was trying to do that looked like me, you know what I mean? So like me and Sway, like, you know, we both come up from like you know, like Southeast LA, where like there's not too many rappers nor designers from there. You know what I mean? Shout out to Steve Menace though. Um, but you know, so that that's I think like that's what really drew me to uh, to Sway. Yeah. That was probably one of my favorite memories with him for sure. And just like kicking it out of my office, bro. Like we wouldn't even fucking get work done. We'd just be right there, just, just smoking a million blunts, bro. Just chilling. A million blunts is crazy. Yeah. So. Talking about smoking blunts, I know you recently gave up smoking. Yeah. Has that affected your workflow at all? Like, Not at all. No, really? Nah, are nah. you having withdrawals whatsoever? Or? Nah, well, you nah. know what? What I'm having are those like uh, terrifying dreams. You know, you have what vivid dreams. 
And, uh, you know, I've been smoking every day for like what feels like six, seven years. You oh, feel me? So uh, I'm about like nine days. You know, it sounds like nine days sober sounds crazy for we like just the word sober. But, you know, I haven't smoked in nine days and it feels good, though. You know, like this has probably been the most important year of my life. And like I got a lot of work done, but I've, I also had like a cloudy mindset most of the year. So, yeah, you know, catching up to myself in like mid-November, that shit feels good. Just like being able to like reflect and just like pick up the pieces on what needs to change, what needs to get updated, For you sure. know, but uh, um, nah, I don't think like it's affected me too much. I don't like correlate like creativity with like being high. I think creativity is like a muscle. You feel me? You go to yeah, the gym, sure. you work out. The more you become creative, the, the better you become at being clever and just like sharing these ideas, you know? That was a great response, bro. For real. Cause oh, yeah. uh, a lot of people really rely on like substance to like no i've seen it shit. i'm sorry for cutting you off you know i've seen it happen to the best you know what i'm saying like not only with uh weed but like with adderall people yeah. sometimes become like a handicap to that and i've seen people go to rehab just because they come to a point where it's like i want to get work done i gotta pop this pill or i gotta do this and that when it's like yeah. that becomes a toxic relationship and that's not a, a rabbit hole you want to follow for sure i've seen it i've seen a lot of people ruin their business through that you know that's so that's crazy yeah and then uh, also transitioning, you haven't really said your brand yet, so I want to give you a chance to like say what your brand is and okay. uh, kind of explain what your push is behind your brand uh -huh. and what the uh, whole idea of the brand uh -huh. is. So my so my brand's called Nothing Personal, man. Truly, it's my identity, bro. I don't take shit personal. I don't do anything personal. You know, like that's my response with anything. Remember, going through anything, you gotta remember it's nothing personal. You know what For I mean? Sure. Sometimes in the business meeting, I'll just point point at my tattoo. And also shout out to my boy, uh, you know, Young LB. He he reps uh, uh, you know, he has a brand called Jokes Up, and I've been in so many meetings with him, and I just love it when that full just middle of voice says like, "Man, jokes up." What are y'all talking about? You know like what I mean? A, like, and like his catchphrase type. Yeah, thing. nothing yeah. personal kind of falls along. Uh, you be saying that a lot, nothing personal. Yes. Yeah, every fucking day. People get tired. In business means for sure, I'll be like, hey, it's nothing personal. Or I want to be a dickhead and like just tell somebody some shit. You end it with that, man. That's your signature. Hey, well, last time when we met you, you incorporated nothing personal. <laughs> I believe hey, you. Hey, <laughs> Run the clip man. back. Yeah. Hey, topic? how about you reply to my DMs and I'll get you? All right, for sure. I mean, yeah, like, don't take it personal, bro. Nah, it's good. It's nothing personal. <laughs> it's in the video. We met Blasey at SneakerCon, so shout out to SneakerCon for it. Yeah, man, that was a good time, bro. How that was, was SneakerCon? What'd you do there? Um, man, I just went and go visited some homies, you feel me? I just went and just strolled, just seeing, you know, what to shop up. I like how you say nothing personal, you don't individualize yourself. Yeah. You have a whole team behind you, right? Yes. So how hands-on hands -on are you with all the projects you do? Are all you overseeing them. everything? Every or? single thing. Every, Every single, single thing. thing. But with that being said, so are they. I don't, you know, I do a lot of crowdsourcing as far as, uh, um, you know, validating these products. You feel me? Yeah. My, I've taught my team to be dead brutal with me. I hate it. Yes, Have man. you had I to smell get that rid shit. of anybody recently? Yeah, for sure. Recently? Nah, but you know, we've, I've had a, my fair share of, you know, having to let people go. I'm very reasonable, you know, you damn near gotta like slap me on my face oh, <laughs> or like, sure. you know, a literal or metaphorically. Has anybody stolen from you? Yes. Yeah. We had a, uh, we had somebody steal a thousand dollars of, you know, on Amazon purchases before they used the debit card yeah. before, uh, you know, they we, we kicked them out. But you know what? Poor him. He, <laughs> that's all he could do. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I hope those purchases were worth it, that little couch or whatever. But, <laughs> you know, with, with my team, uh, you know, we have have a culture in there where it's like we're brutally honest you know I'd rather hear from my homie that this is ass rather than the comment section you feel me so yeah. and uh, every time I invite people over to the office I, I just like how you have you know your line of products I have mine as well they're unreleased and I get yep. I kind of pick their brain on like which are they most excited about because the problem with these products is they take months sometimes years to develop you know um, you know, rest in peace, Sway, we, we had made that plushie when he was right beside me, you know what I mean, making that shit. And, you know, long and behold, it doesn't come out for about nine months, 10 months. So uh, with that being said, sometimes you lose that honeymoon phase of the product, you know, you, you stop, you, you stop falling in love with it, you know, so you, you, you don't, you're not able to relate to the customer, which hasn't seen it yet. And their, their relationship that's going to come from just looking at this product. So. Um, you Have know. you had an instance where it was like you made something for somebody and they're just like, oh, we don't fuck with it at all? Yeah, all the time. Really? You know, my background is like, you know, before like even t-shirts and everything, like I was just doing cover art and flyers for everybody on yeah, Twitter. that's fire. <laughs> you know, I, I was the kid with like 300 followers, just like doing graphics for 10, 30 dollars. I mean, that's how you kind of put yourself out there. You that's know? You the only way. 
especially when you don't have like a cool cousin or like this like neighbor that knows everybody, you know, like you really just got to start from ground zero, you know, it starts from meeting a bunch of loose ends. Some, most, most of the time they're dead ends, but you know, you meet that engineer who knows that photographer who has a cousin that is fucking this manager, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you, everybody you, knows somebody at one point. Right? Yeah. Like, um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't even know where the, where, what question you asked me, I forgot. You're good, you're good. Yeah. But I remember your last question, you know, like, how do I deal with people not liking? So like I said, I come from the service industry, you know, cover art, doing designs for everybody. So like, I understand it and we could both, it, it has to be something that we could both agree, like, okay, this is fucking lame. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. This is dope, you know? If we come into a disagreement, shit, I might rip that design and drop it myself, make more money, you know? So, uh, you know, we, we find ourselves sometimes in that, that situation. I, mean, I like that you said that, drop it yourself and make more money. Do you, pref you prefer working on shit for yourself, right? At Honestly. this point, yeah, you know, it, it, it wasn't until like two years ago that the brand really started making like enough money to outdo the agency work, you know? Cause, you know, we have dozens of like, you know, legitimate clients, but uh, you know, we always uh, reserve time for them. And you know, last couple of years, it's just been nothing personal work, thank God, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. So I know uh, you went viral recently. You had a, a viral uh, video <laughs> go viral recently, right? Yeah, man. Uh, can you explain, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Yeah, right? yeah. East Coast yeah, versus so, West Coast. So I, I really feel like, you know, on the West Coast, that like, we really developed that big graphic style. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think if even if you look at like some, you know, some East Coast brands, like, what's good, what's good? Oh shit, bro! Now, hey, it ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. What's up? What's up? What's up? Bro, like that, bro. Damn. Hey, I ain't even out of here, bro. <laughs> Santi, hold on. We gotta get a. We gotta get this fit is great. I gotta take a photo of this fit. Right yeah. Now. So, oh, no, so no. how do you feel about this style right here? Uh, is this a little outdated? It's definitely out there, but he's bringing that shit to 2024, bro. Look at my boy, he's fresh. Hey, yeah. Nothing personal. personal. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. There we go. You get the Lego. So explain further. I just feel like, you know, when you look at New York brands, bro, you look at uh, V-Lone, you look at Supreme, you look at Awake, you look at Hidden, you know, that they're known for doing small hits. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, the West Coast style, of course you could look back at like 90s shirts, 80s shirts, you know, you got these big, biggie, smalls graphics, but I feel like in the context of streetwear, like even if you look at Supreme drops today, like they're doing bigger graphics now. And I feel like that wasn't inspired until like the underground scene started developing over and, here on the West and Coast. And who do you think was like the, one, not the first, but who do you think was able to put it on a pedestal now that it is now, you know, obviously on the West Coast? I think it's myself. You feel me? Oh, you're going to give yourself that one. Okay. I definitely will, for okay, sure. Like, I definitely helped out a gang of these brands. We got we got proof. We got a gang of artworks. You know what I mean? Along with my boy Unathletic, who's a designer at Hellstar, you okay. know? And then we got my boy George Oliver, who isn't from the uh, West Coast. He's from Chicago. He runs Half Evil. Okay. But I feel like he Shout definitely, and I had this conversation with him directly. I definitely feel like, you know, I think us three, we've definitely inspired this whole underground wave. I could confidently admit that and say that. And uh, I feel like, uh, you know, we've, we've started this big graphic stuff. You know what I mean? And all that stuff. I mean, even if you look at, uh, you know, if you want to be a poppin' streetwear brand, you go to LA, that's where all the resources are. Yep. You know what I mean? That's where all the uh, the warehouses, all that stuff's at, you know? So. All right, well, we're gonna give you some time. Let's look around. See oh, for like. sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually picked out some things. You guys wanna show them? When mm -hmm. we first met Blasi, he actually said that he recognized Marco, so that was pretty cool. Oh, God, bro, stop playing with my boy, yeah, you feel me? Homie, I homie. was watching the, uh, you know, the OGZ video, you know, the good Phoenix one, and like, man, my, my boy's a good host, you yeah, feel man. me? So I Hell picked yeah. that one out for you, bro. Damn, for sure. I don't know if that's your style or not. I feel like that, that kind of goes with you, bro. Oh, it definitely does, for sure. I picked that one, mm -hmm. I picked the free throw line three. Ooh. And what else did I pick? Actually, that's all I picked for you, but yeah. the whole staff, they got bread ones, mm -hmm. type fives. I feel yeah. like these are a little crazy. Right now, these are a little crazy. That's yeah. actually low key. Yeah. yeah, so me and my boy focus you, bro. Hell yeah. Good I'll looking, man. So open up the shop and tell Andrew, yeah. yo, we gotta get this motherfucker in. Man, here we are, bro. 9 p.m., exactly. right? <laughs> 9 p.m. Four times later. <laughs> nah, hey, bro, listen. I'm super duper thankful. Like, what? Come on, man. Like, you guys are the ghosts. Whatever you see me post, like, let me know. I'll put it aside for y'all, for real. Fuck, yeah, you, love, you, That's you, love, though. Yeah, you guys put it aside, you know what I mean? Has anybody ever, like, resold something? Have you seen that? Yeah. Like, my friends? No, like, 
like oh it's products like, going for like 500 600 on grilled right now you know what i mean products really you know ash on me ashley chop on me narco these are all products that like sold out within 30 minutes you know even the sway plush hey, that, that's that up there so uh bro if you was uh put these in order from what yeah. you fucking with and yeah you're not fucking, put them in order man like, what, where i mean best to worst mm -hmm. i for sure like these right here now i'm not sure if y'all picked the right person i'm not too much of a sneaker head right i love uh, black shoes, I'll keep it real with you, but these are for sure my favorite so far. I thought you had these already. Nah. I, I felt like you were you type person. Nah, I don't think I own any Jordans, to be honest with you. Damn, so what do you, what do you be wearing? <laughs> um, man, Louis Vuitton, I like Tim's, I like Air Forces. Um, Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> Listen, I got ripped. And those are my favorite shoes. Like, if you want to talk about shoes, I, man, I like wearing mules. I like wearing Birkenstocks and shit like that. Like, yeah, I, I got these uh, these Louis mules and uh, I, I, I fell into a, a puddle of mud over there in the Bay a couple weeks ago. And I was just looking at these shoes. I got like Angela's shoe cleaner and I never cleaned suede shoes. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> we're on a sneaker uh, store right now, but uh, you know, I, I guess I was just going grinding way too hard, and I damn near removed the Louis uh, monogram off my shoes, bro. I couldn't believe it. I seen it was that a rip shit, off. Bro, that shit was crazy. Yeah, I ended up talking to someone who was in my DMs, like, "Hey, bro, how'd you work at Louis?" Blah blah. And I told him like my situation, like, "Yeah, we can't help you." And the <laughs> shoes are sold out, bro. I'm hot. Angelus is like that brand. Hey, bro, I went on Amazon. Overall number one pick. No brainer. Let me buy that, right? Bro, that is was the logo Angelus. not embossed? What is it? Um. Well. My dumbass thought it was suede. It was called like, like, uh, it's some new book. New book. There we oh, go. My shit. boy's the, the fabric shot caller. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, new book. Yeah, I think that's what he said. But uh, it turns out I wasn't using the right uh, material on the shoe. Um, insult to injury. Jason Marks commented on one of the no blogs way. I posted it, and they're like, "We know somebody who could have took care of that." I'm like, I feel stupid. That's horrible. Speaking of sweet, right? Mm -hmm. um, got any, you got a plushie stash for me? I definitely do, bro. You got, look, I came to Oxstart. Y'all got to oh, come yeah, to uh, to downtown LA to the sandbox. You feel me? Well, I got I got, a, uh, I got enough plushies to fit in here. Yeah. Hey, I went there. Well, I don't want to dox it, but yeah, that, that's definitely Sante my opinion. was so sad he didn't get a plushie, bro. Hey, Never? For I was at the, the meeting with first birthday, right? Yeah. C got there late. Dude, well, check it out. Uh, right. Unfortunately, you know, due to production, I mean, th these aren't like necessarily t-shirts. We got to get these made overseas. Now, uh, when we got these able to produce 50 for the for the, for the, uh, the event, excuse me, which sucked, bro, because I know it was like, a, it, man, the line spelled like the whole uh, alphabet. I know you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spell it. Yeah. It shit went like that, you oh, know, yeah. zigzag. Yeah, and, like, uh, you know, I wish Shway could have seen that because, you know, this is what yeah. we were developing, I'll say maybe like 16 months ago, you know, just like how I sell pitch, you know, I, I pitched, uh, you know, all my business on me. It's like, you know, we could develop this, we could develop that. He's the only one who caught on to it and took it serious. And, uh, you know, I knew, you know, when he was locked up, we talk every week about like what needs to happen, like the drops that need to go down. And, you know, uh, Parkside, we definitely were, um, you know, producing a lot of merch during the time. And, you know, he always wanted to do a, a, a pop-up. He always wanted to do this and that. So like, when, when I say like, what was my favorite day this year? That's why I say that. Yeah. This, the, the plush is my favorite product, you know what I mean? Just because yeah. that, that's just so sentimental. It means everything. It means everything to his family. It means everything to me. It means everything to yeah. the customers. It means everything to the manufacturers. You know, it's a win-win-win situation. Everybody's happy from that. Now, we were only able to have 50 that, you know, we had people buying 10 at a time. You know what I mean? It was kind of crazy. I think we were originally going to sell for like, Fifty dollars or something, and that's so you? dumb. Put us to the side, like nah, bro, a hundred, and I'm like, you're right, you're right. All right, so what was one person? What was one um person that you were working with, and you realized like, oh shit, I'm gonna do this shit for a living. Um, you know, we did. I did Lil Wayne's Carter Five merch about three, four, maybe like five. This was 2019. Prior to this, I was working at LAX uh, at warehouses, picking up boxes, taking them to Santa Clarita every day for two years. You feel me? Lonely job, bro. I used to cry at work being like, why, you know, like, I feel like I'm creative. I feel like I'm doing this. Why the hell are all these goofies getting these uh, positions and I'm not? And I didn't realize, like, bro, it ain't your time. You feel me? You got to work hard. And uh, I just stayed down till I come up. And, uh, you know, four months after I was able to quit that job, I was making, at the time, I was probably making, like, a thousand dollars a month but that was enough to sustain like my 300 dollars worth of bills you know get a little weed pay a little put a little gas in your whip 
and uh, you know, Chinatown Market, they, they brought me in. I started doing projects for them. We started doing stuff for like Big Sean, Cali Uchis, you know, Uber Eats to name a couple clients. And then uh, he was, he just had me on like uh, like hourly, which is kind of shitty for like graphic designs. It's like, <laughs> you know, like the graphics take three hours. You're not making too much if it's in the context of hourly. But uh, to make a long story short, he assigned me for Carter Five to do it, and uh, you know we were up against Midnight Studios and Hair and Preston. Those are like goats in my eyes. You oh, feel shit. me? Oh shit, that's crazy. And we and that shirt did better than all that shit, man. So at that moment, he he put me on as a salary designer, and the rest is history. You know, so I'll say that for sure. Like I'm not even a big Lil Wayne fan, but now I am. You feel me? Like that? Yeah. That shit. That's crazy. You know, like from that moment, I was able to get my first apartment, and this was around like this was five years ago around this time, November 2018. So. You know, here we are so now. So good. Positioning. I mean, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little. I'm gonna go from being super positive to a little negative, uh -huh. right? So, I know you do drops a lot, right? Uh -huh. What was one drop that you were that didn't do as good as you thought? The Potsparity piece from March of 2022. Man, listen, this was a product that we sold that was $350. That's the Birkin bag. Yeah, that's the Birkin flower pot, and uh, you know, my audience is from the hood. You know. What I mean? Excuse me, my audience is from the hood. You know what I mean? Like they don't uh, have $350, nor do they know or give a fuck about Birkin bag, you know? And uh, that was a big eye opener to respond to that. You know, I ended up dropping my most successful product right after. It was the uh, greatest match hits. We sold those for 25 bucks. We sold 2,000 in four hours, you know? So that was something that like inspired me to just go the uh, more affordable route. Like I'm not trying to be the most expensive brand. You feel me? Like I need foot soldiers out here. Like I don't care about hype, you know? Like what, what really matters is people repping you and being able to share that story while you're not in that room. So you're heavy on uh, like, availability over exclusivity. Yes, what? Hell yeah. Bro, listen, all my products are less than 100. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I, I look at things and I'm not like, okay, like I, I got the juice right now. I could, man, they, if in a sellout period, you know, like money, money's gonna come. You know, I'm not concerned about that now. What you can't buy is a real community. You can't buy customers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ironically, oh, you can't buy a customer. That's a gem right there. You gotta, uh, you, you really gotta have something that people can value. Do you think it was dropped at like the wrong time in your career? Or do you think if you redropped it now, it'd do a little better? No, I don't wanna drop products like that. You know, I, I'd still wanna make affordable stuff. I'm so jealous of the hot Cheeto guy. You feel me? That's a product that's a dollar that everyone can relate to, everyone loves. No one ever looks like, oh, it's just a dollar. Man, that ain't it. It's a good product. You know what I mean? Like, I want to make affordable. The hot Cheetos? The yes, the hot Cheeto bags, the, the ones you find at the liquor store. Like, who wouldn't want a product like that that's like so affordable? Everyone's going to have a hundred uh, bags before they pass. You know what I mean? Like, that's, real, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm not trying to sell things that are expensive. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, you know, valueize my products. Real shit. To develop and release products like that, bro, you gotta be a consumer. You gotta be, you yeah. gotta be a, a student Before of this shit. Before you were a creator, you were obviously a consumer. Yeah. What was like something you were into back then? Like I was into everything, like bro. Like something what? that maybe not is now popular now that is like you could be like, oh, I was already on that shit so long ago. Like you guys are barely catching up type shit. It's so much. I don't even want to like talk like that. You nah, feel say me? Say something. Like, say something. Talk your shit. Um. I don't even. That's not like a, a, a note, a checklist in my head. I never yeah, like, okay, like, this is the second brand. This is the third brand. What's but a brand you would want to bring back? A brand I want to bring back? Uh, I mean, it's impossible, but like Obey, you feel me? That's the shit I grew up on, you know what I mean? Like, Shepherd Fairy is the reason I do all this stuff. You know, like growing up in Southeast LA, it's a lot of tag banging. There's a lot of taggers out there. And, uh, you know, in middle school, we used to tag. And it got to a point where I started seeing Shepard Ferry around these Obey posters. So I started doing We Paste myself. Now they're not putting you on blogs in Paramount and Southgate for that. You know, all these hoods started tripping. So I would take the train uh, to Melrose and Fairfax and hit the rooftops there. And then soon enough, we became on blogs. You know, uh, Mr. Brainwash, he put me in an art show when I was 16, you know, and uh, I gave up doing street art by the time I was like 17. My homie got caught up with, with me one time when we were uh, mobbing and shit. So, you know, I, I went at Sand Blaster, which, you know, inspired my name, Blazzy. You know, I was inspired by Kanye. He goes by, uh, I promise it's all gonna make sense. Uh, Kanye, you know, he goes by Ye. That's a short of a uh, con, you know, Ye. Yeah. So like Sand Blaster, you can't take that name serious. Sand Blazzy, man, I just go by Blazzy. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know even where this question even like no, came no, from, but the, the brand I want to bring back, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think like things just come and go. You feel me? You got to accept that. that you know, what comes up must come down. You feel me? That, that's, that's gravity. 
So let me ask a question. What's up? What's up? Oh, well, hey, I'm, I'm here to answer. No, you spit the most real shit ever. He's like, let me ask. I'm here. I'm here to answer every question. You feel me? Favorite color, whatever y'all want to know. You feel me? So what's the top five favorite things that you ever made? In your brand? Top five favorite things I ever made. So the bank bob. Um, you know, I got all these tattoos. I keep showing my tattoos. <laughs> but yeah, I got I got a gang of just like different parts of me. So this was an important product for me just because uh, at the time, you know, um, going back to the whole like t-shirt thing, you know, I was known as like the t-shirt guy, you know, for a while. And uh, through that, I kind of, you know, I don't ever like being in a box, you know, I want to feel like a, a fish out of water at all times. I don't like being comfortable. And I started finding myself being stuck as just a t-shirt guy. I wanted to create a product and we made these piggy banks that were uh, um, these these like Spongebob inspired piggy banks. Everyone's seen these like these designs from fucking the swap meet and shit like that. And uh, pretty much uh, we released it. It immediately translated to the audience. Man, that's the first product I sold a thousand pieces of. So that's something that's very important. That That's number one. Hey, yeah. that shit's, that's fire. Cause like, I, I wish I had some tattoos. I, I promise I'll never get a tattoo, but like the fact that you're like, oh yeah, I fuck with that shit so heavy. It's right here. That's, that's sick. Bro. I gotta go sign <laughs> myself, man. You wouldn't tattoo anything you wouldn't. Then I got some random shit sometimes too. <laughs> What's up? You, you regret any of your tattoos? Nah. Well, huh? no, for sure. I got this crazy, horrible one. I'm gonna have to like take my shirt off, but like, it's like a dog that I got in like the hood when I was like 19 for like a logo. I made somebody, but I thought it'd be clever if I inverted the dog so everything that's black is white, everything that's white is black. So like, it looks stupid. Show us, bro. All right, I got you. <laughs> that shit looks crazy. What the fuck is that? That's the, that's the, yeah, yeah. That, that's Indonesia right there, man. I see the though. It's the Philippines. That's uh, Taiwan right there, man. That's Indonesia. Like, nah, these look like islands. I like how you guys have the space mollies, bro. You know about that? Yeah. Stop playing, bro. I'm a, I'm a consumer. You know about space mollies? Yeah. I don't know about space mollies. You be buying some? Yeah. You have a couple. Some? I had the, uh, I had a Keith Haring one. I recently sold that one, and then they sent me the Space Jam one. You the big one? Yeah, oh, I, nah, I, I, I was peeping it from the corner. Yeah, I had one. Damn, that one's fucking sick. Yeah, they sent us that one. I have one like with that same fit. Well, they're all kind of have like that same little, yeah. That's the Trevor Adams, the food that did uh, the ghost. The Gucci Gucci's? ghosts? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's super dope. dope. You know him? Yeah, uh, he fucking tied oh. me right here. No way. <laughs> Another tattoo, huh? Yeah, he did a complex con like a uh, little like, oh, like tattoo a thing. session in 2018. And I was like, man, I fuck with Trevor Andrew and uh, Trouble Andrew, excuse me. I need to get this shit tatted on me. Number that's one, sick. that's how I feel. I saw the SpongeBob because I went to uh, what was it like uh, Toy Con or that shit that Designer happened con. around this time? Yeah, so Designer that's Con. That's, that's where I got in a couple weeks actually. I want to go. You we should go. We out, bro. Let's but, go. But uh, yeah, I'm with it. But not nah, the. Um, that's where I found out, but I was gonna get the, the big SpongeBob one, but I was like, nah, this Keith Haring one's way harder. Oh uh, yeah, but uh What else what else you look you like in the shot? Let's man, see. I really wanna grab some look, figures, I'm not gonna lie, like, but if if I'm gonna grab some shoes, bro, let me see. Do your thing, dog. What about you, These? Nah, come on, you set me up for failure right there, my boy. Yeah, <laughs> You don't think everybody yeah. needs a pair of those? No. no. Really? I think people need to like kind of have their own identity. You feel me? But you, it's it's a good standard shoe though. You could argue that for sure. You know, like you, would it's you kind of similar. Would you say that about a white Air Force? I was about to say that. I was about you know to ask what I mean? You yeah. You could only wear one shoe for the rest of your life. Or boot, whatever. <laughs> Those Louis Vuitton mules, <laughs> man. I miss them, dog. How, how many uh, uh how many pair of pandas do you own? Zero and never. Nah, I, I know you had a pair. Nope. Hey, nah. Kid, why are you lying? Why are you lying, bro? Oh, hold up. I'm going to make a big ass point. All right. When I had a money, right? I had a lot of money, right? And I wanted a shoe. This was my first option. Oh, so you did get them. Why are you No, shy? I didn't get oh, them. Okay. I didn't get That's them. First I option. wanted to get yeah. them. Yeah. So I, I didn't get nothing. Damn. Breaking news. How do you used to like pandas? I used to like pandas. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you pull enough it's, to the, uh, you know, you got you got a good girl, you know, at the park ready for you. You feel me? Park? I don't know that. Like, that's where I'm meeting girls at 12. You feel me at a park, <laughs> literally at the bench. But like, and she pulls up with pandas. Are you just like scootering back home, or like what you doing? Blink, boy, oh boom. God, there we go, man. Let's go. Don't fuck with my boy. Conspiracy going on online about these that either they fit big or they fit true to size. So we're gonna, you're gonna be the person to prove this right now. 
Imagine they fit him. No, they don't. Nah, they for sure do. What? Nah, you're lying. Stop. Yeah. They fit? Yeah. No yeah. way. A little tight, but yeah. I'm size 10. These are like size 9. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about this brand right here? Spider? Yeah. I, um, I think it's cool. I honestly feel like they killed it once they did these little white dots because then you just saw everybody uh, hopping yeah. on it. It's usually a mistake when rappers make their own brands. You feel me? It doesn't look cool, but um, it translated well with Young Thug. You feel me? You want to get this? Mm -hmm. You fuck with it like that? I need sweats, bro. I'm going to San Francisco. We, pants we got some heaven sweats for you. Oh, for real? But I'm, I'm going to take your 200, yeah. though. It's cool. For sure. That's your style, too. That's no your cap. style right there, dog. Bro, y'all are funny. You asked me for water. So I'm going to get them right. I feel like I know y'all. Oh, shit. Good looking. Oh, shit. I'll drink it. You feel me? Like. <laughs> No. And he almost panicked. He's like, no, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I brought it just for you. No, he's so mad right now. No, like, oh, it's really yeah. Okay, for sure. Hey, Actually, I want to show you something. It was our two year anniversary recently. So we made this shirt and it's a reversible tee. Huh? Oh yeah, what do you think about this? A thick shirt, huh? Remember, we're, we're, a, we're a sneaker store, guys. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that? Why yeah. do you say it like that? Because I'm just saying like, you guys aren't like Louis Vuitton's. I no, we're sure not an actual brand yet. Yes, you are, bro. What you mean? You got you. You're branded out right now. <laughs> so that's the that's one side, oh, and then this big. is the other side. Right here. It's like large. Oh, I like this design. You see, bro, you got to make this into a little figure, bro. It's a little money. Bro, we wanted to, but bro, I just been, don't know. We've been don't know, bro. You know where I get my shit now, bro. It's hard. I, it is hard. It's hard. But, no, but no, no. It's, but it's, it's worth it I for sure. I feel like not to talk down on anybody here, but I'm the one that does everything. Like, I, yeah. I, nobody really helps me with the, as far as, like, doing shit. The manufacturing and, like, Like, the... anything in general. They give me ideas, right? Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. They're giving me ideas and shit. But... <laughs> What are you trying to say? But once it comes to like the sourcing and like the emailing back no, and forth. No, Marco, I'll give you your credit. My boy Marco, yeah, I'm God. We, you know, my boy be in the videos, you feel me? He be going no, Everybody the plays their role, you know? But, but no, I understand what you're saying as far as like knowing where to get like ABC done. Yeah, know? it's yeah. just hard because like I have to kind of do everything. Is this like a size medium or XL? No, this is a size tag right here. Oh, shit. That's, that's a dope ass tag right here. It's um, a 2X. We have one. We already got one set aside for you. That is hard. I, w I want that this right texture, there. This texture, like, feels That's shit. really amazing. Like, I, like the, we're, this is the best shit you showed me. Really? really? Without a doubt. So everything Except anything large. We have a large. large. We have a blue one. We have a blue one. Yeah. I, <laughs> nah, but if I had to say, like, like how the shoes were, like, one, like which one you like the most? Oh. This, this one? Yeah. And you know what's crazy? This is our, this was our most limited drop. We only made, like, 70 of these, and we only have, like, three left. Sheesh. That is hard. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments if I wear that. Whenever you have a simple design, you just, you give, you give more of a reason to go crazier on like the quality and like the, the texture and everything like that. Yeah, I think you scored it with this one right here. Yeah, so, so that, that transitions me to a great question that I had for you. What do you think is more important when it comes to having a successful drop? Do you think it's the item or do you think it's the push behind the item? It's the item, bro. I'm, I'm somebody that like none of my brand, none of my products say like nothing personal. They don't say they like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying to just provide something that is new. Like I think that uh, great products. They I sell mean, themselves basically. Yeah, they sell themselves, you know. Um, I'm a firm believer of it. Oh, oh, this one right here? Yeah, I thought you were gonna take my uh, Modelo. I'm like, nah, you gave me this shit, homie. Yeah, so for me, like, coming at you, like, as, like, a, somebody who's trying to start a brand and push themselves out there, you know, it, like, what do you do when it's, like, you have this product and you want to push it, you know? Like, uh -huh. what, what's the step-by-step, -step, you know? I focus on making things that everybody wants but nobody owns. You know what I'm saying? If you could solve that equation, if you could solve for X, you have a product. You have a sold-out product. Now... You can't think of that shit willy nilly. That really has to be something that like you go through hundreds of people and they could all say like, no, this is definitely something we all want. You know what I mean? That's what I focus on. You feel me? I, I, I try to just fill that void. There's so many voids out here of just like, what's the perfect plushie? What's the perfect ashtray? What's the perfect ABC? Perfect basketball. You know what I mean? Like you just got to fill that void of just what everybody wants, but nobody yeah. owns. 
That's a good like, one. like I said, like none of like the Ashley, Ashley, Ben or Becky, Chavo Narco, they don't have MP on their hat. They don't have MP anywhere. Nothing yeah. personal. You know what I mean? It's all just products but that people stand alone. It's crazy that they have no branding, but people will be like, oh shit, that's fucking. You're still tied to you. I want to build that repertoire. You feel me? That's, that's that crazy. identity. Yeah, because you don't you necessarily, you don't need the brand. I've, you know, one time I tried selling like five years ago, I tried selling some nothing personal search with MP right there. I sold zero. <laughs> you feel really? me? And like, that was when I was only selling like, 20 shirts, you know what I mean? This is like five years ago, like very small. What's a drop looking like now when you do a printable shirt? Like the units. None units, like over 300. 300? You know what I mean, yeah. I'll try, I'll try to be around there. Uh, the best shirt we dropped is the same of the Fed, man. We're in like 3000s as far as with that one right there. Really? Yeah, you know, thank God, because that's an item that like means a lot, you know? Have any uh, bur uh, Burberry Crocs? The Burberry Crocs? Let me see. These ones right here? If I were to put somebody onto a pair of shoes, it'd be this one right here, bro. No cap. Are you fitting a nine and a half or no? Nine and a half? Really? That's your style too, huh? I kind of wear like black shoes. What? Yeah. You'll never see me go on my Instagram. You'll never see me wear colored shoes. What about some 11s like this? No? Yeah, I don't own any Jordans. Oh, you don't own any Jordans? Nah. No way. Yeah, I don't. You don't own any retros? <laughs> nah. You with these? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Hell no. That's I'll crazy. be honest with you. Yeah. What? You don't have a single pair of Jordans? Nah. Justin, Blasi does not own a single pair of Jordans. Nah, I don't. I what don't. the fuck? Yeah. Have you ever owned a pair of Jordans? Oh yeah, for sure. Ones and shit like but that. But are they like, were they actual like... Jordans or were they? Yeah. The... No, stop playing. I'm not that <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> I, I I'm know, Mexican, like... but not like that. <laughs> Were they the, the team Jordans? Yeah, the team Jordans. <laughs> All right, man. So you feel me? Just for making, uh, uh, you know, making this like uh, strike four on <laughs> coming to visit my boy. You feel me? I had to get the whole team right. Made sure we got everybody something for nothing personal. You feel me? Something from our Look last drop. I wanted to bless the whole game. <laughs> this is foamy. Especially my boy Santi right here. You feel me? We just got to get them grades up. You feel me? Or the reports No up. cap. Hey, Too I'm much to ask team. for. <laughs> no, nah, but I just want to thank the whole team right here at, uh, at Heavens. You feel me? At Heaven, excuse me. Uh, singular, not plural. Yeah. Uh, you know, for uh, holding me down and just like sticking around. I know this is way late than what you guys are usually used to. You feel me? And like, like I said, like I came in here uh, not knowing what to expect and I'm leaving like knowing that, you know, y'all are my homies. You feel me? Like you guys are like some really dope people. This was all authentic. This was all organic. So that's how it should be at the end of the day. So yeah. I'm very thankful that uh, my boy invited me over, you know. I'm um, glad I met you at a uh, at sneaker con. You yeah. feel me? Hey, why don't you reply to my DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal. On some, like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you he... see how one Modelo does me, bro? That's crazy. A tall can. I don't drink. I drink. I barely ever drink. That's probably like the first time I drink in like two months. No way. Why did drink. you do that? But by, on a positive note, you feel me? I'm glad I stopped by. You know, definitely would come. Definitely again. You feel me? You guys. You gotta uh, go to Sandbox. We gotta go to the sandbox for sure. Y'all gotta stop at the, ham, at the sandbox. Handbox. You guys have to pull up. Not no cap for the video, all right? Listen, I'm gonna be in the comment I section. Need, we need, a, don't we pull need up. a time and a date, and we'll be there. Next Tuesday at 12. Next Tuesday at I just 12. Just made that up, but pull up, I'll be there. Ah. <laughs>